Welcome back to the stream on this Tuesday morning, taking a look outside at Daly Plaza on a chilly one. And today we're celebrating the 56th birthday. What you can't see just beyond that tree, the Picasso statue has been there since this date in 1967. And joining us now to talk about the iconic artwork is Cala June with the city of Chicago. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here. And uh, 56 today for the Picasso. Did you, how's the city celebrate? Did you bring a cake out or what? No, just cupcakes. That's all we need to have. All Enough right. to share with everybody. Okay, cupcakes, that's a good thing. So tell us about the statue. What is it? What is the Picasso? So the statue, uh, as part of a request to Picasso, was asking 65 to look at making a model for the actual sculpture. Uh, it was dedicated a couple of years later in 67, where it stands today on the plaza at Daly, Richard J. Daly Plaza. Uh, the Public Building Commission, which actually commissioned the project back then, uh, wanted you know, a, a large sculpture that was indicative of Chicago's legacy. So Picasso generated this wonderful piece that now stands here today at 56 years. Wow, okay, so, it, and it is a woman, correct? Um, some people don't know it. Um, people don't necessarily see a, a woman. Is that, is that part of the genius of it? Is people see it as different things? Well, it is part of the genius of it. Um, it takes a particular profile to actually see uh, a woman, and you need to stand on the northeast corner of the statue, and when you look, you'll be able to see that. Uh, okay. But it's part of cubism, you know, the idea of representing through multiple ways uh, different imagery, and you'll be able to see it if you pay attention to it. And when it came to the, the placement uh, of the piece on the plaza, uh, Cal, it currently faces south. Um, and it's not facing the courthouse, it's, it's, it's facing south. Uh, north would be uh, a daily courthouse. Is there a reason for that positioning? Yep. Well, the plaza itself requires an off-center location in order to create this sort of experience. Obviously, the fountain is a big part of that, along with all of the other planting beds and the um, uh, the kind of the large space that's a part of it. The location itself, I mean, it's presenting itself to the city, not necessarily to the Civic Center building that is behind it. Uh, so the frontage of what you see and what it's about is really representing um, the, the fact that it is a, an Afghan hound. That was a representation for the actual statue itself. What was that last part? Uh... It, it's it's representing an Afghan hound, which is one a, a dog that uh, Picasso had himself portrayed in many paintings and uh, uh, many photographs of his as well. Really? Okay, an Afghan hound. Those are two things I've learned this morning. Afghan hound, and, and you got to look at it from the northeast corner uh, to to see the, the woman, yes. if you will. So so how did this offer come about? Again, kind of take me back to that. Like, like, how did such a great piece just end up in the middle of Chicago? Um, you know, did Pablo Picasso say, "Hey, I got a big piece for Daily Plaza"? The city, you say, kind of put out a call. Like, who in the city says, "Hey, 56 years ago, let's call up Pablo Picasso, the most famous living artist in the world, and see if he'll make something to, to fill this this empty space"? Like, how does that go down? Well, obviously, Picasso was a very famous sculptor and artist at the time. The commission, the Public Building Commission, uh, wanted to have a large sculpture in this plaza, the Civic Plaza. It's one of the very few plazas actually in Chicago that is this large. Obviously, the Federal is the other of this size. And they wanted a large sculpture. They asked Picasso directly. And that was done in 65. One of the requests was to make a small model, which they referred to as a maquette. That was done as a way of, you know, for him to identify what it would look like in terms of a project. They then was able to commission him directly to continue on and actually uh, proceed with the sculpture. The sculpture was then 
generated, fabricated, really off of the maquette without exact drawings, without exact dimensions, to be able to then have the full built and dedicated in 1967. So the, the material itself is court and steel. It oxidizes on its own. It requires very low maintenance, which is great because it's been standing here for 56 years and yeah. doing really well as an art object. And it was one of the first large sculptures in a public plaza in Chicago, so it's pretty significant in that way. Absolutely. So, and I think part of its beauty is the many roles it can play. You know, it's it is art. It is a slide for kids. It is a place where, where pigeons can hide from the element. Um, what do you see it as? Okay. You know, uh, it, it's it's really hard sometimes that we focus on buildings for so long, and obviously Chicago has a very very long history with the arts. To be able to have a Picasso okay. sculpture that's been here for so long, and to really you know represent the city, and and as remember, Picasso gave this as a gift to the city. He didn't accept any funds of which he was offered a hundred thousand for the sculpture wow. but did not accept it because he felt that this was important to give a gift to the city which he did and it's been lasting so long so it's pretty amazing to have that representation as a piece of art that is with us and will be hopefully with us for a long time yeah it was placed in 1967 it's 56 years old today and mr picasso died in 73 six years after it was placed at the age of 91. Was this his last great, grand public work? We certainly would love to consider it that. It is Chicago. We are a city of uh, grand gestures. Um, it certainly was the first large sculpture in Chicago that was out to the public for them to engage in this way. So it's pretty amazing to have this here. Grand gestures and broad shoulders. Cal June with the city of Chicago. We thank you for joining us. We're glad it's not raining on you. Uh, a happy birthday to the pretty lady behind you, and we appreciate your time and insight here on the stream. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for being with you, Brett. Thank you.